So it's our second day in Moab Bowl. We're going on a canyoneering tour today at, uh, at Kawasan Falls. We're just waiting right now for our uh, guides to go to the market and get our lunch. I'm sitting here in front of an old church that they're rebuilding. They're very Catholic in the Philippines. They like their churches a lot. So everywhere you go, you see churches and church related uh, institutions. Right here, it's a pretty, looks like a pretty old church that they're rebuilding. I think they're redoing the, the whole ceiling. I think it burned down or something, but it's pretty neat inside. You see a lot of basketball courts around the Philippines. Um, basketball is a pretty big sport here.
That was good. <clears throat> so we're staying at the Marcosas Inn now. We couldn't stay at the homestay on the beach anymore, but we had a really good day today. We went uh, on the canyoneering tour in Kawasan Falls with um, Planet Action, which was the which was the tour agency. Um, we were out there from like nine till four. We just got back. It was an amazing experience. If you have to do one thing when you're in Mobile, try the canyoneering tour at Kawasan Falls. It was spectacular. I'm sure the diving's really good too. I haven't, that's pretty much the only thing I've done here is the canyoneering tour, so. We jumped off some pretty big waterfalls, went through some really beautiful areas. A couple things I would recommend for the canyoneering tour, bring extra shoes. You have to wear shoes on the tour, but bring extra shoes or sandals. Uh, bring extra shorts and an extra shirt and bring your camera a waterproof camera for sure because you're gonna get super wet and you're gonna jump off some pretty high cliffs uh, waterfalls um, the, the last one we jumped off was like 16 meters high which is pretty high for me I mean it, pretty, it hurt when you hit the water so it was a really good jump and they make you a really good late lunch at the end of the tour um, it was all very worth it. It's about 2,500 pesos, which is a little bit more pricey, but uh, it's definitely worth it, especially if you're doing something like canyoneering where you have like gear and you're relying on um, professional guides to help you out. You want to know that you're safe and that you're using top of the line equipment. So this is our, our last night in Mole Bowl. We're headed off to Oslo tomorrow. I think we're taking a taxi or a bus, whichever one. We decide tomorrow morning. I think it takes about two to three hours to get there. We have to go down south to a city down south and then cut over. Um, we're gonna see the whale sharks when we're in Oslo and then we're gonna head down to Sikihor. My computer's acting really weird. My drive is making funny noises and my computer is taking very long to start up. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's the humidity or something, but it's kind of scary. Marissa and I are gonna go watch our last sunset in Mole Bowl. Let's follow this sign this way. Kind of sketchy. 